What's up troop, Loopy Fizz here, and today I got a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, on the stream, the live stream, twitch.tv slash Loopy Fizz, <laughs> little plug, um, we did a little experiment. And this is an experiment that I want to do more than just once. I might do it probably about 200 times, maybe. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to buy into it fully all the way yet, but we decided to take a card and kind of dissect it a bit, right? Um, and the card we chose for this was for the first one is honestly a card that people might not have said, um, probably thought about. Um, it's actually Angel. So we decided to dissect Angel, put it on the chopping block and see how it goes up against other cars necessarily, or just for sciencing purpose, go into a few challenges and then rank it, right? Um, we're going to be building a list. So right now, Angel's the best card, believe it or not. It's also the worst card. So all of you guys out there right now saying that Angel is dog shit, um, you might actually be right. But also, you might need to look at this and see how it goes. Compared to other cards, you never know how things can go. But um, first off, just to lay down the groundwork, what is Angel? What does it do? Well, Angel is a card that has an ability that's kind of not as, well, you know what? It's kind of weird. It's easy to trigger, but not often triggered for a few different reasons. And one of those reasons is because, well, it's in your hand, which is kind of weird, right? You would think that you'd want a card in your hand to trigger its ability. Well, to get down to it, Angel's ability is that when a card is destroyed, Angel will fly out of your deck to take that card's place. Simple right simple ability um that's pretty much all it does um it becomes fodder after that point or it could just be a card that comes out maybe you hadn't destroyed anything until now and now angel's gonna gonna come down and fly in and give you two plus power on that lane um so here's the thing is this a good ability or is it not well, an ability is typically good when you're actually able to use it. And the fact that the best, one of the best destroy cards in the game costs two, so where you can destroy something on your side of the field, right? Uh, and that's Carnage. Carnage is actually very early obtainable in Marvel Snap. The problem is that in sequence for the best combo for Angel's ability to be used is that you have to play something down on turn one, some fodder of some sort, and then on turn two, you play Carnage, you kill that thing, you hope that you haven't drawn Angel Gat and he's not in your hand, and then he will swoom out and come onto the field. Well, the thing about that is that what if you pulled Angel before that? Well, Poopy, you're not gonna be able to use this ability. You're just gonna have to play him down, which means you're getting the worst of two things. One, you're having to use one energy to play one of the worst cards in Marvel Snap. And I, I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Um, maybe STG, but no, no one else, right? So here's the thing. There's another thing that Angel does that people don't think about. America Chavez helps you thin your deck, right? A lot of people run this card. A lot of people like Lambie love America Chavez because it thins your deck. It allows you to get more pool potential of getting your combo, right? So that's what Angel does, theoretically. If you destroy something and Angel comes flying out of your deck, well, that's thinning your deck and giving you the a better chance of getting cards that you actually want, right? Well, if Angel's already come out of your deck, then he's not gonna fly out of your deck. He's in your hand. So you don't get that. You also have to use the energy to spend it. So you're not getting a discount. You're just getting a bad card. So in my, in my history, I would have to say yes. This ability sucks ass. I don't. I think that it's 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 even worse than Umbaku's ability. At least with Umbaku, you can throw him back in the deck with Lockjaw, which makes him useful in Lockjaw. But that's about it. You know, I mean, it's. But at least he's useful in that, right? So that's the problem with Angel. You never get to use his ability. That's already bad. And even worse than that, like I was saying a few seconds ago. Um, if you haven't killed anything by turn three, you've pulled six cards. You've pulled half of your deck, which means you've probably pulled Angel. So the gist of it, um, that's how you use him. But will you be able to use him? Yeah, you'll be able to play him probably. Um, so that's why he's not the best. 
I think they're gonna have to do something with Angel. But yeah, anyways, now we gotta get into the actual list. So based off of what we just we just said about Angel, right? Is he gonna be very good on the list or is he gonna be very bad? Well, I'd like to let you know that this is the start of the list. And if you don't know how list works, well, you will be happy to find out that that means that Angel is actually at the top of the list right now. But he's also at the bottom because the way lists work is that you have to have more than one thing for there to be a list really. And right now, as you can see on the screen in front of you, uh, we just have little poor old Angela. So continuing on, hopefully he can jump over some cars. Well, we, we'll, 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 we'll find out. We don't really know. So what criteria are we going to be basing this off of? Well, I'm happy you asked that question that you didn't ask, but I wanted you to ask. We're going to be basing this off of a few different things. Uh, the first thing that we did, we have a little challenge that we set forward. We have a timer and we timed ourselves to see how long it would take us to build three decks with this car, uh, with this card in mind, you know, um, to, to some extent, we didn't want to just make three destroy decks for angel. He's a destroy card. We don't want to do that. Um, we didn't want to make three zoo ish decks, which is really only one zoo deck. We, we didn't want to make, you know, just some weird decks, you know, we wanted to make three decks that we thought could be viable to some, to some effort. Um, and also just have something to do with angel. And we're going to be judging based off the usefulness. How good did this card make these games? We're going to play with these decks after we get it. You know, how good is this card changing when we get it? You know, those are things too. Um, so we made these three decks and we timed ourselves. And now here, look, the time is, is kind of to perspective. It took us a whopping 14 minutes and 19 seconds to actually, to actually make these three decks with angel. Now you might be saying that's a long time or you might be saying that's not a long time. And to be honest with you, I honestly don't know. This is the first time we've done this. So it could be a good time. It could also be a bad time. But the thing about it is that you don't know even if it is a high time or a low time, if that's good, because there are cards in Marvel snap that could make you take a long time and a lot of thought to make a good deck with, for instance, Legion Legion fits in so many good decks and he can fit in so many decks that honestly his, his, um, his viability is probably infinite, right? So it would probably take a long time to figure out which decks you want to use because you can literally use every deck, baby. You just take, I'm just taking out this card and throwing Legion in there. You never know when he might be useful. Who knows? So cards like that could take a bajillion, but okay. Maybe not a bajillion. I don't even think a bajillion is a real number. It can take tens of minutes. I don't know, but it could take a long time or it can take a short amount of time. If you're like, Ooh, I know he's going to go in this deck, this deck and this deck and I'm done. You don't really know now in angels, um, in angels case, I would say it's the opposite. <laughs> it can be the opposite. It could take a long time because you just can't think of things to go with the car. Um, and that's what happened here. It, angel is such a bad card. It took us a while to figure out where we want him to fit in. So that was the thing. Unfortunately, it took us 14 minutes and uh, 19 seconds. So that's going to be the first thing that gets uh, thrown down on his, on his little, um, list. A row, but the thing about it is that that could be good, it could be bad. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about um, our findings after this. And so the three decks that we actually end up making for this were the Holy Bro deck, which is a Cerebro deck. We also made the Dead Zoo deck, which is a zoo deck that has Carnage and Angel in it. And it's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool because you can like kill something and get some power on the lane with Carnage, but you're also gonna be bringing in some power with um with angel flying down and getting buffed by whatever you know it was kind of weird but anyways i like the deck so that's what we did um and the last one was just a run of the mill destroy deck nothing nothing too fancy just had angel in it. that was it um and that's pretty cool and we called that one they in the outfield uh you know trying to show some um some love to the uh, the angels in the outfield you know old movie you might not know about it Donald Glover, not Danny Glover, not Donald. Dang it, the new Glover. I said the wrong one. Anyways, those are three decks we used, and I think that they were okay. But like I said, I didn't want just straight destroy decks, so that's why they're very stretchy. 
Um, yeah. So the second check was actually, this is the part where we actually put these decks up against a challenge. And I had to come up with some challenge that we can do whenever with any cards and, you know, put ourselves against actual people. And that was the gold conquest mode. So we gave each of these cards three golden tickets. And I'm going to take these cards into conquest. I'm going to be the, I guess the... I'm the leveler because I mean, I'm, I'm good. I'm decent at the game, so I should be okay. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not, I'm no lamby. I'm okay. Investment. Okay. Maybe I'm okay. No, Hey, 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 but I'm just saying, um, it's okay. Right. Uh, for me to go in there, I'm the only person that's going to be going there and doing this. So it keeps everything leveled out. And anyways, we go in there and we try to win the challenge, but you have to use a different deck for each stop of that. So, for each step of the ladder, you have to use a different deck that you just built. So if you can make it through, that's when the timer is gonna stop and, and you're good. But if you lose and it goes over, the timer does not stop. You keep going until you can try to win or you lose those three tickets and then you're out. So we, <laughs> so you might be wondering, well, how did Angel do in this part? And well, I'm, you know, happy. I'm not, I'm not actually happy you asked that. But so here's the thing. I had to make something to where it doesn't last forever. No one wants to keep coming back and playing, you know, with these decks, especially when you run out of gold tickets. So that's why we can run out and imagine you run out. Well, you could potentially get a DNF and believe it or not, Angel is going to be the first card to get a DNF. As a matter of fact, it, now here's the thing. We actually mowed through the first two opponents with the first, uh, like the first attempt. And we almost, we almost got a sub hour completion with Angel. And I would have been so happy with that. Angel would have been so happy with that. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Um, we actually ended up having a mirror match. Well, not a mirror match. It was more like if you were like staring into mud and then the, somebody else was staring into like this nice crystal silver mirror, like they can actually see the reflection. We went against a straight up destroy deck and they whooped our ass, man. It was not even a competition. Like there was nothing that we could really even do. Um, so we lost that one. And after that, it just went downhill. We could not get back to that uh, last battle. We lost the next two tickets very fast. Like it's not even a whole lot to talk about. We just, we just ended up lost. Um, not, I mean, not lost. We just ended up losing. <laughs> it was no one cared that we were trying to do something. And I think that was honestly the fairest thing that could have happened because I don't need any favorites doing this. I don't need any flipping pity. Uh, just let you guys know. So that was a thing. And he, I think it ended up being one hour and 39 minutes and 30 seconds to not complete the challenge. <laughs> So there's that. Now maybe one day we can revisit it when there's more cars. Maybe Angel gets a buff one day. Who knows? But for now, that's where he's sitting at a DNF of one hour, 39 minutes and 30 seconds. Now here comes the last two checks and they're pretty interesting. Um, if I do say so, we want to look at this card after we've dissected it and played with it and determine how viable is this in decks? Like, is this card gonna be a card kind of like Zabu? When you pull Zabu, you know things are popping off. You know, the new card, Loki, when you have Loki, things are popping off. You know, is this a card that when you get this card, you're like, okay, we're good. You feel safe. No, it's not. It's this card that when you get it, you're like, damn, why did, why did I pull you? If there's any card in your, if there's any card you put in your deck and you're like, yo, when you see that card slide in from the right of the screen and you're like, <laughs> I didn't want you. <laughs> That's probably not a good card. It's probably not very viable to be honest. So maybe it's viable outside of the deck, but not really. But we give it a one out of 10 for that. So there's that. But then the last one that I added in kind of, kind of a little um, post post after we kind of made these decisions. How good is this card? If you were a new player and you pick this card up and man, I gotta say, surprised okay i'm not surprised it's actually a one out of ten as well 
because during the, and, and you might say well it's a destroy card and people new to the game they want a destroy card right well no it's not really a destroy card it's a card meant to be destroyed <laughs> um or it's a card that wants you to destroy things and then have this card fly out um so it gets a one out of ten because at the time you're only gonna have like four or five destroy cards in the beginning of the game anyway then when you get angels the beginning of the game when you just started playing so you're probably not gonna really have a, a huge feel of things right so is that a good thing not necessarily you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna have put other things in your deck that are way more valuable than angel you're not gonna be choosing this card you're not so i mean that's a thing but the other thing that I even thought about, I was like, man, I only got eight cards that I'm missing right now. And this card still ain't valuable. There's still no reason to have this card in your deck. So honestly, it just, it's it's still a bad card, I guess, you know? I mean, there's nothing you can really do for it right now. It, I don't think this can be, fi uh, honestly, what would I do to buff this card? man it, this was a tough question to even ask myself this this card honestly needs more power for what it's for what it does it needs more power if you're jumping out of my deck and because something got destroyed then and and, and i have the op i have the option to like have you i need you to replace something worth i need you to have some value man like this angels at your house sleeping on your couch mental no, angels got you sleeping on like if you got this card in your bed angel is like sleeping in your bed with you putting you down not paying any bills this card is an anchor like it there's nothing it's gonna do for you this card needs something it needs some mm, to it just completely rework the card because no one's gonna use it i don't think unless you're memeing unless you're binks or you're me and you're trying to do this for science or you're also memeing and you're also me anyways those are my findings <laughs>